Okay, great. All right, so Charlie here with Ashley Wagner, who's just had her gorgeous makeover with Jen in the PNG what? family home. You look fabulous. Thank you. So everybody's talking about figure skating the other night. It was a little bit controversial. What's your whole take on the whole scoring situation? Well, first of all, it's figure skating. And of course, the next day, people are going to be grumbling about who should have been on top and how it should have gone. But I think that the ladies in the top three, hands down, belong in the top three. Beyond that, I didn't see anyone perform, so I don't really know exactly what happened, but uh, Adelina, the girl who won, she's a very, very technical skater, so she, I'm sure, went out there and just checked off every single box and got the job done. It was a huge upset, and I think mm -hmm. not a single person predicted that that would happen, but here we are. Are you thinking about that when you're on the ice? Are you, are you physically aware, you know, I'm in another country and I could be potentially scored differently, or is that the last thing on your mind? You know, I, I'll be honest, it definitely comes across my mind every now and then. And it's tough to be able to go out onto the ice and just lay it all down because you never know what what's going to happen with it. And I think that um, our system needs to kind of grow and be changed a bit. And there are small changes along the way that we can make so mm -hmm. that um, the system's not as opaque and you can understand what's going on a little bit better. And It'd be nice for the athletes not to be left in the dark yeah. either. So speaking of the evolution of this sport, so we have some amazing legendary figure skaters. You got Quan, Katerina, Christy, Kerrigan, all the big K's. Yeah. Have you had a chance to interact and meet with some of these role models of your own? I have been able to meet Nancy Kerrigan and Michelle Kwan, and I have to tell you, Michelle Kwan lives up to what I imagined that she would be and then she surpasses that by miles and miles and miles. She is such an amazing person, such a role model for the sport and the first time I met her I was like, oh, uh, 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 like cat caught my tongue, I didn't know what to say, like, what do you say to Michelle Kwan? I mean, you can't say Michelle Kwan, you're an amazing figure skater, she knows that, like what do you say? So it's been amazing to be able to interact with some of my role models. And she actually wrote you a letter, you were saying, tell yeah. me about the letter. So I arrived in Sochi, walked into my room and there's a letter from Michelle Kwan wow. sitting on my bed. That's, it was really Not cool. A bad welcome, yeah. Not a bad welcome and just reading through it, she gave me some advice. She worked with my coach so she kind of knows mm -hmm. how he works and uh, just told me, you know, once he's done talking to me at the boards and it's they call my name, just go. Just go and skate with conviction and I was terrified for my long program, shaking in my boots and at that moment I just remembered what she had written to me and skated off with conviction. <laughs> So at the beginning of the games, you got a lot of attention for some of your looks. And the concept, I guess, of sassy figure skater, which I've heard the title given to you. So is sassy an important part of your character? Sassy is a huge part of who I am. I am hard-headed, stubborn, and what you see is what you get with me. And um, sometimes I have too much sass, <laughs> apparently. Um, but yeah, I, I think it, that face that I made in the kiss and cry was hilarious. And the fact that people picked it up <laughs> was amazing. I've seen a couple of really funny memes with it. Oh, nice. Like yeah. what? Like people have like juxtaposed you with somebody Yeah, else. I've seen one that's amazing. And it's, the, uh, it's from the opening ceremonies when that last ring didn't open up all the way. And yep. so it's a picture of that. And then my face is going... <laughs> I also saw somebody put you next to Michaela Maroney, who was famous at the London Games for her face. Um, yeah, I've, I've heard that comparison a lot. In my defense, <laughs> I wasn't standing on the podium. I was True. just sitting in the kiss and cry, and it was an instant reaction. But uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. And I always feel almost awkward for you guys because you're sitting there for like two minutes waiting for the score, and you know that you're on camera, and you kind of have to act it up a little bit, Well, right? it's horrible because you're not allowed to say anything. You're supposed to be sitting in your seat, smiling, waving, princess wave, and um, that's not at all the type of person that no. I am. I'm usually like, oh my god, Raph, that was so hard. Um, so... Yeah, it, it's tough because you have to be perfect for those minutes and the entire world is watching you. Yeah. Um, but it adds to the drama of figure skating. Yeah. So one more important question. So you were one of the few athletes who was speaking out about the whole equality issue here in Sochi. And I think it's been nice because this is kind of blown over. I haven't heard a lot of talk of it here in the park, but I know this is still an important issue to you. So how has your opinion of the subject changed from before the games or was mass hyped with the media till now? Uh, well, I mean, my opinion hasn't changed at all since the games. I have so many friends and family members in the LGBT community that I, it's just an issue to me that is so important because it hits so close to home. And um, to be here in Russia and with the anti-LGBT legislation, it's just, it, it's a shame because I feel that no matter what, we are all born as equals and um, 
it, something like that should not, you know, make you any less of a human being. Do you think the Olympics has made a positive impact on this situation, bringing in all sorts of diverse people from all around the world? I mean, do you think it'll change a little bit? Um, I, I would like to think so. I think that we have had a couple of athletes speaking out about it. And of course, you know, having such a, a highly viewed event in Russia while this whole crisis is going on, I think that that's definitely, you know, people are watching, all eyes are on Russia, and I think that that's been great. On a side note, I think that it is hilarious because I believe that Sochi is one big pride parade because there are rainbow colors yep. everywhere. I've been hearing a lot of Cher, Madonna, and Lady Gaga playing in the park. And <laughs> I have too. I and even funny. Tattoo in the opening ceremony. Tattoo, the fact exactly. That they were out there and they've been outspoken about this issue before. I thought that was a very interesting choice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe slowly change in the. The ball is starting to get rolling with this change. Great. Any message for your GLBT fans out there? I know you have a lot. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I thank you guys so much for your support. The LGBT community has been absolutely amazing and has helped turn me into this sassy, obnoxious <laughs> figure skater that I am today. So um, thank you so much for all of you. And I know that I can't do much, but I just want to let you know that I support every single one of you. and. Uh, just keep your heads up and the rest will figure itself out. That was perfect. We love the sass. Don't Sassy. ever change. Yeah, <laughs> my mom.